The uh, entire on air with uh, Ryan Seacrest radio staff is dressed up today because Miguel <laughs> is in the studio. Is that what happened? Yeah, man. Even Nelson, he kind of tried to dress like you, actually. But, <laughs> I think. It's all good. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's good to see you, man. Congratulations on all of uh, the success and, and and most recently, what I think was a life changing moment at the Grammys for you. Man, it definitely was like a. Like, dream come true. Kelly Clarkson came up on stage, uh, and, and she was like in another zo- another yeah. world after hearing yeah. you perform. That was pretty funny. The crazy thing, it wasn't like she was just up there after a... She was accepting her Grammy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were still in the front of her brain. I just kind of was like... It's kind of ill. I appreciate it. Uh-huh. Here's what she said. Uh, Miguel, I don't know who the hell you are, but we need to sing together. <laughs> I mean, good God. That yeah, was I the sexiest damn thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I met her after, what? afterwards. You did? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What Backstage, happened? and I was like, whenever you're ready, let me know. <laughs> Let's do it. That would be a great, great collaboration. Uh, and I, I mean, I think that um, <laughs> I, I think sometimes collaborations are born out of moments like this, though. You, you don't yeah. necessarily plan for all of it. No, it's kind of cool. I think it's just. Uh, you know, when when you hear something that you like, as a, as a musician, when I hear someone, especially, yeah. it doesn't matter how obscure it may be or, you know what I mean, far removed from whatever yeah. sound people may expect, I just, I, if I like it, I just like it. So it's really cool. Give yeah. us some background. So you're from, not far from here. Born and raised in L.A. This is his hometown. I'm okay. home, baby. Give me some specifics, though. What so I grew up in LA? San Pedro. Um, okay. I went to high school there. Shout out to everyone in San Pedro that's li- listening. It's a What's small town. What's your mascot? Um, pirate. <laughs> ah, the yeah, pirates. Yeah, pirates. You know, San Pedro that's pirates. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I grew up there um, right where the projects start on 3rd and Center. Um, but I've lived everywhere else in, in L.A., Torrance, Carson, you name it. Um, Pursuing Burbank, the dream. Pursuing In- Inglewood, the... Westchester, all of it. Always yeah. with this burning desire. Yeah, I, I mean, I started I started like in the industry, like signed to my first production company when I was 14. And um, I've just been kind of working and developing and learning, you know, since then. Every once in a while, artists, big artists, will say in passing at, at stuff that we're doing, hey, have you heard this record? Have you heard this artist? And I have had more artists talking about you recently in the last couple of months than any other artist. Mariah Carey was talking about you the other day. She's a big what? fan what? of your music. Uh-huh. And you That's said wild. that there's a redefining of R&B mm. that's going on. Mm. Tell me what you mean by that. Not only is R&B, I think, overall becoming more personal mm-hmm. and less um, superficial, you know, this kind of like living up to an idea or a facade. It's more about, it's just more personal. It's mm-hmm. a little more introspective. And it makes, it forces artists to kind of reassess, you know, what it is they really stand for and believe in. And and, and that's the kind of music I want to make, regardless of genre, you know, mm-hmm. is, is one that's conscious of where I stand and my perspective. And, and that's what I'm trying to do. Well, you're not shy about your perspective and some of that personal perspective on yeah, this album. Absolutely. And I saw you <laughs> with the lady you've been with for a long time, seven yeah. years. You know, you met her when she was like 17. Where? She actually tried out and made it for, for Idol. Idol. Yeah. Did she? She what? made so, it. Uh-huh. And she was disqualified because they found out. This was like the first season. They found out about you? They found no, <laughs> no. <laughs> We hadn't met. This is like it was a couple of years prior. But, um, but. They found out about her age and she was too young. Oh, so before she they had lowered, to before we lower right? the yeah, age. Yeah, oh yeah. my yeah. god! Because back yeah. in the day, there was a yeah, you had to be older. Well, yeah. did that put her off forever? Did she never went back? Well, she she's been a musician and uh-huh. an actress and a model. But she since didn't go back to Idol tryouts not to again. Idol. Mm-mm. Mm. No, no, no. What well, what about the seven years? That's a long time to be together. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean we don't count our breaks. But, you don't um, count your breaks. <laughs> How yeah, many no, breaks we don't count have there those. been? I mean, only one <laughs> yeah. really significant one. Uh-huh. That was like a year long. And, so, and yeah. a year break. How is she with some of the personal things that you write about and sing about? Well, the good thing is, like, we we met when we were young, and I, I was very like, "Listen, babe, this is like, this is my life. That's this what is I what do. I've I've built my whole life around, and I always want to be. I have to express myself and say what's on my mind. I hope, you know, it doesn't ever get in the way of our relationship, and I hope you can respect and appreciate it. That's the way Ryan and is she, on the radio with right. his story. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds much sweeter. Though. You don't want to divulge too much, though. <laughs> you know, interestingly, as, as I've gotten, as I've learned, there's certain things you have to definitely keep, but there's a way of, of still being honest without, you know, compromising the integrity, you know, and the trust. So, you know, it's just, it's just kind of like a fine By the way, line. If, if, yeah. If you say there are things that you keep, track number 10, <laughs> what else is there to keep? And, and I, I'm not going to say what it is, but 
yeah. if you have the full track list. <laughs> Take a peek. All right, Miguel We're is with up. us. We'll come back here. Baby, these lips, yeah, now. Can't wait to taste your skin. What? Baby, no one in these eyes, yeah, now. Can't wait to see your grin.